Well, good afternoon everybody, how are you all getting on? Hopefully you're doing well. Well, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just a little ride out today. Not too far out, yeah, just to, just to get some essential shopping again today. A little bit windy, but yeah, I could have taken the car, but I thought, you know, I have to make the most of these little uh, dry days. Roads are a little bit wet here and there, but... <laughs> Still there. Uh, <laughs> plenty good enough for today <laughs> so yeah if you're new to the channel and just passing by consider hitting that subscribe button hit the notification bell be much appreciated plenty more bike content coming plenty more on the way um yeah like i say just nipping out to get some shopping uh yeah i've got a little test ride coming up uh on the new 2021 triumph trident so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I should be coming up soon within the next sort of, um, well, not too far away anyway. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Muchly. <laughs> Probably uh, be nice to compare that, compare it with uh, with this, you know, the Street Triple RS. Um, yeah, it's probably um, going to be very, very interesting. Might have to go for the little overtake manoeuvre. Beautiful. That's no problems, no problems at all this thing. No problems at all. Some lovely roads here as well. Could potentially be another another uh, one in the bag for twisties on the twiffle. Oh, sorry, I've had a bit of rain but roads seem to have dried out a tad. Still some shite on the roads here and there but love the sound of this bike absolutely lovely yeah like I say there's plenty more content coming to the channel keep your eyes open keep stay tuned you know another thing is uh, this is going in for its first service going in for its first service soon not not too far off run off now uh, run off run in now so uh Got oh, very windy today. Oh, a little fly in the helmet there. <laughs> yeah, like I say, it's not far off running. Down to the 30s. I think uh, the first service would just be oil filter levels. Probably adjust the chain. Usual sort of shenanigans. <laughs> I think even after the first service, still got to go easy. Still got to go easy with her. Up to sort of the first thousand mile. Which is very difficult really on this. It does kind of egg you on a bit, this thing. And it does egg you on. Which is what I love about it. <laughs> I think you just, you know, it's nice to hear that exhaust howl and hear the, the intake there. The air intake. cars about on the road the sky looks a bit grey up there I'm hopefully I'm hoping that the heavens don't open up <laughs> don't really want to get wet really no oh. lots of shite on the roads here Summer's on its way, so... Now, there's been one or two of the subscribers mentioned about the squeaky brakes. Now, mine seem to, to be honest, seem to have sorted themselves out a little bit, whether it's just like your bed and in pro, uh, process. Um, someone mentioned about the rear brake squeaking a bit as well. I never had that on the rear. It's mainly the front brakes, uh, the front discs. But like I say, I've had no, no squeaks coming from the brakes. I will mention it at the dealers though, when it goes in in the next few days. See what their take is on it. I know what they're going to say though. Well, it's just the running in of the bike. 
I don't think there's anything unusual there. Everything has to bed in. Yeah, I must admit that sky does look dodgy. to get my shopping and uh, go straight home. Look at this. We're on lockdown anyway, so can't really go out too far. Yeah, talking about the Triumph Trident, it's a 660 cylinder CC bike. 660, 660 CC motorbike, three cylinder, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I think it's about 80 brake horsepower. It's not loads. Right, so I'm looking forward to jumping on that. More of a contender, I think, for the middleweight bike. It's a middleweight bike. Be good to get get um younger you know new, uh, learner by, uh, learners into the bike scene and into the triumph scene so i think prior to that triumph not really didn't really have anything out there for you know that market you know it was kind of like the street triple the, you know which is what i'm riding here street triple rs um, yeah but i think it's contenders a lot uh, sort of like the cb650r sv650 and it comes in as well at an amazing price. I'll talk about it when I get when I sort of get on the bike, but just giving you a little insight into it. Um, it's just of a it might be wrong, but I think it's just of a seven thousand, seven thousand three hundred something like that, which really is a lot of bike for the money, a lot of bike for the money. Much more than your likes of your. You know your SV 650s, and um, although the CB 650 does look like a, it looks a much sort of better looking bike in my opinion. Anyway, that's just my opinion. I think the last time I ended up test riding a Triumph, I ended up buy, buying one. <laughs> I don't really want to do. I can't afford to do that every time I test ride a bike. I run out of money very quickly, quickly if that's the case. And like I say, the the thing is with new bikes, it's very difficult to. You know, there's not much negative. Oh, what's happening here? There's not much um, never ticket, never tip, nevativity, nevativity, negativity. That's the word. Uh, not really much wrong with them. Very difficult to to fault. Uh, oh, knock it down a couple of gears. Going around the mini roundabout in the third gear there. <laughs> Yeah, like I say, I'll jump on one and I'll see, but already seen a few reviews on them and they've got a good um got a good good sort of review on, on, on the actual bike. I think there's been a long time in the cabinet. I also would be interested if they brought an RS version out. You never know. Don't you bring an RS version out one day? I don't know if it's on the cards or... It's a thing around here, there's always tractors on the road spoiling your fun. Not really a suitable spot to do the, uh, the overtake manoeuvre. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I hope you're enjoying the videos and let me know what you want to see got any ideas or anything you want to see or anything you want to see see me test test ride then uh, 
feel free to uh, oh. give me some ideas. <clears throat> oh, just to be able to take one tractor, there's another one pulling out of there. Oh, that's right, it's going straight across the road by the look of it. It's not the warmest of days today. Saying nine degrees, is it? Nine degrees. It's not cold, but not to say the heated grips wouldn't go amiss. <laughs> That's the thing on the bike. You can have the, the best gloves going, you know. But I think the tips of your fingers always seem to get the car, get the wind. Yeah. roads out this way and houses as well well look at that the lovely village of Roxham another little broad broadside village Yeah, the first service is 500 miles, five or six, I think the book says six, so within five or six hundred miles is your first service on this, and I think after that, six thousand mile. And I think a lot of these motorcycles, the intervals seem to be, well, take the Trident for instance, I think that, now the, 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 the service interval on that is 10,000 mile. 10,000 mile? You know. Certainly food for thought if you're thinking about a commuter bike or a, you know, a long-term bike to ride around and commute to work and, you know, use daily and clock some miles up on because, I'd, you know, I'm amazed, 10,000 mile. It's amazing, really. But yeah, this is 6,000, I believe, on its next service, after the first. It's a good service to get out of the way. Road work's going on and nothing there's nothing no works carry being carried out there. See we'll be taking forever. Here we go. Yeah, I did read an article the other day about bike sales, UK bike sales dropping and being very, very low for this time of the year, this year, which is kind of a little bit understandable with what's going on. Lots of people are losing losing their jobs, unfortunately. Hopefully, things will pick up. Lovely smell of grass then, the guy there cutting the grass. Uh, what we got here? We've got the white van man! 
Oh, always a white van man. Every time you go out without fail, the white van man. <laughs> Have to see if we can do the uh, the overtake manoeuvre at some point. <laughs> Lovely sweep and bends round here. Hey. <laughs> thing with this bike it's got that linear power slow down nice and talky so yeah just a very short ride out today um, like I say if you haven't subscribed consider hitting that subscribe button loads more content on the way be much appreciated and if you do nip out on the old bike take care roads are slippy hope we've got some good weather coming soon so anyway yeah take care until the next time see ya